Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then hello, my name is Emily. I make makeup videos, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, food videos sometimes. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you might like then make sure you subscribe down below. Comment down below any videos you would like to see. Um, but yeah, today I'm back with another video. So basically I was going through my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram then you definitely should. It's just the same as on here. This is some of my Instagram, you know. I post some makeup pictures but I was going down my Instagram and I don't know if you remember in December I did a series where I did a look every single day and I uploaded a makeup video every single day so if you missed that go check that out it's t it kind of killed me off I'm not gonna lie but I did this look and this is probably one of my favorite looks I've ever done like ever I just I don't know why but I loved it so I thought I would recreate this look but with some different colors I actually think I'm gonna do blues and then I and then I can use like the blues out of this palette from my last video. If you didn't see my last video, I tested out this palette. Spoiler alert, I loved it. As always, I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my P. Louise base in the shade 1. As you know by now, I love this stuff. It's my favourite. It makes my eyeshadows nice and bright. I was initially intending on filming a first impressions slash review on this foundation today. This is the new Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. However, me being me, I forgot I went on holiday and I forgot that I was darker than usual. So I just kind of bought a shade that's like four shades too light for me right now. So I've had to order a new shade and that hasn't arrived yet. So unable to film that video yet. But when that comes, I will be filming a first impressions slash review video because I love the original. You know I love the original but this just sounds really great, like hydrating. I also got the concealer, but you know, also the wrong colour. I also got a few other bits, so I'm thinking once I've filmed that video, I'm going to film a full face of Make Revolution because honestly, they are my favourite brand. Like, just, I love them. They are one of the best brands out there. They're affordable, they're cruelty-free, a lot of the products are vegan, and they're just, they're just really affordable and accessible, and their shade range. 50 shades for such an affordable brand is incredible and their, their product quality is just great as well so yeah I'm going to be doing that soon. So as I said I'm going to be doing blues for this eye look so I'm going to be starting off with my Dream With A Vision palette like I used in my last video as I said I really liked it so if you want to check out that video it's a pink look you can go and see it. I'm going to start with this shade here called Ambition if you remember I used this on my lower lash line in the last video. Um, but it was on like a dry lower lash line so I didn't really get a feel for it so I'm going to like properly get a feel for it in this video so I'm just going to go in with a little small brush this is already blue from when I used it the other day start by going in just following the line of my crease just packing the shade on that is so pigmented I love it so I'm just going to apply this through my entire crease and kind of wing it out at the end and I'm just going to make sure that when I look straight on you can see it above my crease that's a really good tip if you have hooded eyes to just look straight on into a mirror and if you can see it above the line of your crease then you'll still be able to see it obviously when your eyes are at any angle and obviously because we're cutting the crease later you want it to be like quite a bit above the crease so you can still see it and then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other eye okay so now I've applied that shade I'm going to go in with this pastel baby blue colour called Clarity. I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges of the blue shade. So I'm just going to start by going half on the blue and then half on the skin and just patting that on and then I'll start doing little tiny circular motions just to blend. I find that this is my favourite method of doing eyeshadow because when I put the darker colour on first the darker colour is definitely going to be intense whereas sometimes if you do the darker colour after all the lighter colours you're kind of just packing it onto dry eyeshadow so it's not going to cling as much so it's not going to be as vibrant and you're going to have to use more product to get it to be so vibrant so this is definitely my favourite method to do eyeshadow I'm actually going to take a shade out of my EYN Brights palette I'm going to take this blue colour here called Pacific Dreams this is just a tiny bit lighter than the initial blue that we used but obviously a bit darker than the pastel blue and I'm just going to place this in between the two colours just to help blend kind of like sandwich them all in so it's like a really awkward time of day where the light is just terrible but I did remove this eye because I wasn't enjoying it 
and I think I've just made it worse whenever you try to do it because now it's just not going on you when you move like remove makeup and it just starts going patchy when you try and redo it it's done that but this eye looks great so like it's not the eyeshadow it's just the fact I've tried to remove it three times I'm now gonna cut my crease so before I cut my crease obviously because I've got a lot of like blue eyeshadow on my lid I'm just gonna use a bit of my micellar water just to remove the excess blue eyeshadow off my lid. So excusing the lighting, I'm now going to cut my crease using concealer and I'm just going to give it like a little flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to go along and cut my entire crease. So as you can see, when I look up I can still see the entire line. Okay so now these are as even as I'm going to get them. I'm going to go in with the shade Silver Lining which is like a light shimmery blue shade. I'm just going to take this all over the cut crease. Just because I did have glitter on the original look I'm going to add some of this Lottie London Eye Foil in the shade Feels. I actually got this because of Make Me Look Missa which I seem to just be a fan page of at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to just put some of this all over my eye because it's a really gorgeous, like, iridescent white glitter kind of colour. Okay, so now I've applied my glitter. I don't know if you can see, the light today is awful, I'm very sorry. Um, but I'm, I've applied the glitter all over. I'm just going to apply some lashes, do the rest of my face, and then I'll be back to finish off the under eye. And I currently have a cat on my lap, so yeah. So I now have my lashes on, my face on. Everything looks a lot better, as you can, you can kind of see the glitter now that I've like opened my curtains a bit because the light has kind of gone a bit better. But yeah, I love this look. I think I prefer it in blue than I did in green, which I didn't think was possible because I do love a good green look and I'm never a fan of blue looks on myself, but I really like it. So I'm just going to do the lower lash line and these are the same lashes I used in my last video. These are the number 13s from Peaches and Cream. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with this blue shade again. I'm going to add a bit of black eyeliner just into my waterline. Finally, for my inner corners, I'm going to go in with a bit of the shade Cloud, which is this one here. Love that. And yeah, that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Check out my Instagram. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.